Okay. To find out the molar concentration of this, okay. So say molar, that's what they ask us to find. So okay, sorry, this is to be with molar mass. Did you finish it? Please, sorry. Molar mass. Okay. So now we have molar mass of X to CO3 in B in gram per mole. That's what we are actually looking for. Okay. That was what we are looking for now. So we know that our mass conch, mass conch of X to CO3 is here, 3.6. Okay. So molar conch is also just plain now. Molar conch of X to CO3 is 0 0.034. Sorry. 0 0.034, I think. I think. 3396. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 0, that's what it just gets. Okay, that's what it is. I'll just clean it now. Okay, come. Go back and find out what this is. Correct? Okay, that's what we have. So, what do you do? We are looking for this. So, state the relation now. We now say, therefore, molar conch. Molar conch is equal to mass conch over molar mass. So viewers, what you do now is play with these parameters here. Play with this. Come here, all these parameters. Plot them in here. What is the molar conch? Molar conch is 0 0.0340 is equal to mass conch 3.6 over molar mass. Molar mass is unknown. Molar mass. Okay. Cross multiply. So what's molar mass now? Molar mass, molar mass now is equal to this. This is what 3.6 upon 0 0.0340. So that's the answer is what. Now pause the video and then. Uh, 105.88. That's 105.88. So you can correct to the nearest to the to the nearest whole number, your answer is 106 gram per mole. You make sure the unit is there. 106 gram per mole is the molar mass of this in B in rapid to Pause the video and check what we did. So from what we obtained here, is that what we have also find the relative atomic mass of XX. Yeah, this question is unknown. So pause the video and check what we just did here. So let's quickly go to the third part in B. Okay, that you yeah, are asked to find the molar mass. The molar mass. Sorry, the relative atomic mass now. The relative atomic mass. That is a B I I I. Relative atomic mass. R A M of X in X to C O3. Okay, now, what we do now is I say, note that X to CO3 now, where the molar mass of this is 106. Okay, this is 2X plus atomic mass of carbon is 12 plus atomic mass of oxygen is 16. 16 times 3 is um, 40, 46. Okay? 46 equals to 106. Okay, so we have now 2x plus 12 plus 46. 36 plus 8. 48, sorry. 48. This plus this is what? 60 I guess equals to 106. So we have that 2x is equals to 106. This 60 cross over the sign of this equality becomes minus 60. So 2x is equal to 46. 46. So what we now do now divide both sides by the coefficient of x. So here now we have what? 2 here. 2 here. 2 here. One. Okay. We have that x now is 23. Okay. That is our value of x. 23. Then finally, BIV find the percentage of this. 
how to find the percentage of this is x in x to CO3 times 100 over 1. Now that we know how the volume, we now know the value of x to be 23 over molar mass of this is 106 times 100 over 1. So 23 divided by 106. The value of 10 here times it by 100, that is the answer. 0 0.21. And times 100. That is 221. 21.66%. That is the actual percentage of X in this set. Okay, viewers, that is all for question number one. So you quickly interpret question number, number two.